So now we can start hooking this up to uh, some new kind of, uh, yeah, to more game logic. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I switched over from the simulate mode over to the uh, new editor window mode here. I'm gonna do it in the selected viewport here. So now you can see that I'm running around with a default character here uh, and I'm bouncing into these, uh, <clears throat> into these, uh, the ball here. So uh, I'm gonna extend the, uh, the kind of the player <clears throat> to uh, to call the bouncing ball. So basically, whenever the the pawn overlaps, uh, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna go in and uh, uh, and bounce the ball. So uh, let's just take a quick look on how that is done. Uh, we're gonna find the the blueprint for the third person character. I like to do it from this menu here. Uh, we go to the third person character. Uh, there is a bunch of logic here that we're not gonna worry about, but uh, we'll go to the viewport here. I'm gonna add a new sphere here a sphere collision and you can see that it's here very small i'm going to make it a little bit bigger so it goes around the character and here on the right i'm going to say overlap all dynamics and then uh, i'm going to go here and i'm going to find an event here on the uh, i'm going to call my sphere ball bouncing overlap sphere there we go. And then here, now that I have the sphere selected, I'm going to go and I'm going to see on overlap, on begin overlap, on component begin overlap. So on the character, uh, now I'm getting an event whenever it overlaps something. So you can see that I have the other actor, I have a component and a bunch of other information. Uh, I am also going to, just so that we can see it, I'm going to turn on debug drawing, I think. Is that not possible? Uh, all right, I thought that was going to be possible, but it uh, doesn't matter. All right, so at least we just know that uh, our pawn now has this circle around it. And whenever anything that has the correct collision uh, kind of settings overlaps it, uh, we're gonna so it's gonna be the correct collision process is gonna be uh, it needs to answer to the overlap all dynamic uh, kind of thing here uh, we're gonna get an event so let's just start by adding a print here uh, so now I'm inside of the third person character and anytime that I overlap something I'm gonna print the name of the actor so let's go uh, go here and go here you can see that a little bit here on the screen, it's doing, it's printing everything. It started off actually by printing itself because it's overlapping itself. So now that I get closer to this ball here, you can see this is the first ball. Uh, so we're getting the event um, went through. And basically what this is doing, the third person character now has a reference here on another actor. So we know that another actor is, uh, uh, is kind of uh, that we're overlapping it so what we want to do is here on our bouncing ball we want to go and we want to say do the jump because we're overlapping the uh we're overlapping the ball and we want to tell the ball to do the jump so we drag out here the other actor and we do say do the jump and nothing happens and this is because and this is really important to understand that the other actor if you hover over it this is an actor object reference while our bouncing ball uh, is uh, a BP bouncing ball actor reference. And when we did the uh, the variable here at the bottom right, uh, bottom left, you can see that we made a variable type of the bouncing ball type. Uh, and you can see here at the top right corner that our parent class is actually actor. And this means that uh, our blueprint and almost all blueprints, most blueprints um, uh, are kind of inherit from actor. So all we have to do here is we have to say, okay, so we overlapped something, but we don't know what it is. Well, we know it's an actor, but we don't care about the character. We don't care about anything else. So what we can do is we can drag out of this and we can do a cast, a cast to BP bouncing ball. Uh, and what this means is that it takes in whatever we overlapped. Uh, it says, all right, so I know that you're an actor, but the cast is, uh, gonna check are you an actor uh, are you actually a bouncing ball because if you are great we can go ahead and we can do things uh, we can do things there but if you're not uh, then I just don't care I'm just gonna ignore that so uh, in this case we're gonna go go ahead and we can say we're gonna do the cast and now the cast it actually outputs the bouncing ball 
type for us, the actor type. And on the bouncing ball type, we can do, do the jump. All right. And now when we press play, uh, whenever I move, you can see that any time that I go in range of uh, a bouncing ball here, it's going to jump. Pretty cool. So now we can run around here and now we have a, a little bit of logic where uh, any time that the character goes close to the uh, uh, goes close to the actor, uh, the bouncing ball, it's going to bounce. So uh, this was an example showing off how you can uh, how you can use the physics system or how you can use the overlap system itself to get uh, a reference to the uh, reference to an actor. Uh, normally, when you do these kind of overlaps and things like that, you're not going to get the specific actor that you want. So you have to do a bit of filtering. And in this case, we're doing filtering with the cast. Uh, we say, uh, I don't care about any of the other actors. I just care about it if we overlap the bouncing ball. And then if we if we do overlap the bouncing ball, we uh, actually do the, uh, we call the function on, on it here. 